Okay, sorry if it's loud because of my air blasting, but it's fucking hot in general, but also I'm in the valley right now, so it's like very hot. Guys, I'm excited. I mean, I don't want to get too excited yet because this is what happened last time and it's what tends to happen, but I'm in North Hollywood right now and I just saw an apartment. I think I'm gonna go with it. It's one of those things where like, I don't think you're ever gonna be in love with an apartment here unless you are literally a millionaire, but it fits my budget if I stretch. It's a one bedroom, it's big, it's clean, it's newly renovated. The property manager guy was so chill and so cool and so nice. He said that the unit next to me is also a single girl who's young and then the unit above me is also a single girl who's young. Yeah, so uh, I paid my application fee. I, I don't carry cash with me like ever. So I had to, I was like, can you wait while I go get cash out? And he was like, yeah, of course. So I had to go to 7-Eleven, you know, buy something and get cash back. And the guy, I'm like, can I get $40 cash back? And he's like, you can only get 10. And I'm like, well, can I make four purchases then and <laughs> just get $10 every time? And like before he could really answer, I kind of just like turned around and started grabbing things. So I got this freaking bang energy drink. And then this was three separate transactions. So I got 30 cash back, but the application fee, okay, it was 40. Like application fees usually are 40. And I'm like, can I please just like make one more purchase? And he was like, your card will get blocked after three. And I'm like, can I use a different card? And he's like, is it a debit card? And I'm like, it's a credit card. And he's like, no. I'm like, shit. So I look at my wallet, I have one single dollar. So I'm like, fuck, like if he says no, I'll like try to find a Wells Fargo around here or go somewhere else where I can buy something and get cash back. But he had to leave soon, so I was like trying to rush, get this money. I drive back to the apartment unit. Hugo is waiting for me his name Hugo I probably shouldn't say that but whatever he manages a lot so he's like you know I explained to him what happened and I'm like this dude was giving me such a hard time I kept like picking up gum and buying it I was like I only have 31 can I like PayPal you and he was like it's totally fine because if I didn't pay the application fee normally you can just pay it online but for some reason this place like he gave me a hard copy of the application he was like yeah and then just you know fill it out come back pay the fee whatever and I'm like well I don't want to come back is the thing because it took me an hour to get here and it's gonna take me even longer to get back so I was like can I just pay now and then do the application online and he was like yeah you can totally do that anyway i'm burpy i've never had a bang energy drink before should we try it i got the flavor sour head wait there's creatine in here okay i'm literally not gonna drink this like i'm gonna try it to see what it tastes like but i already drank a monster today because i always drink a monster every day it's what i replaced my like coffee addiction with which then i stopped drinking coffee and turned to matcha lattes and then when that got expensive i started buying chai concentrate and i would mix it with almond milk in the morning and make a chai latte and then once that started i started getting repulsed by that which i don't know what's happening to me just getting like weirded out by that flavor in the morning like coffee chai is it what is that flavor it's not umami i don't know i guess it's just like bitter but also sweet i don't know and i like now the only thing i can stomach drinking in the morning and like i crave it in the morning is a monster i already drank one this morning but i want to try this i did not know i had fucking creatine oh and it has aminos in it creatine caffeine coq10 <gasps> this would literally make me whack out i remember one time i got a bunch of samples when i bought something i hope you guys can hear me because my air is blasting i'm sorry it's just like literally so hot <laughs> time I got a package from bodybuilding this was like in college like probably well I remember I was living in the second house that I lived in so my junior year of college I got a package from bodybuilding and I remember I was getting just like confetti cake ass protein powder the fact that I used to have protein powder is so weird to me I mean it's not weird but like when's the last time I've had protein powder I can't remember and they give you like a bunch of samples or whatever and one of the samples they gave me was for this pre-workout and I tried it one day and it turned out that it had what is it called? I almost wanted to say DMT, but it, that's... It had that one ingredient in it that is illegal. It's banned, at least in the US. It was banned at the time. Like, I think it got banned like a year before I got the sample. They were still giving out samples like to get rid of them or whatever. I can't remember what it was called. It was some kind of phetamine. So it was some kind of meth, basically. I mean, that's dramatic. Like, obviously I take Adderall, but it... I'll look it up and see if I can figure it out. The pre-workout was, was like jacked or something. It made me, that night, I remember I was with my ex and we were in my house. I was freaking the fuck out. I was hallucinating. I felt like, I, it was like nothing I had ever felt. No drug, no high, like it was so scary. It was from that pre-workout. And then I later found out, yeah, it's banned because it has this fucking thing in it that's not allowed. Anyway, let's try this. Have I even started a vlog yet or did I just randomly pick this up and start talking at you? I'm sorry. I mean, you clicked on the video, but like it's kind of weird to think about like someone just walking up to you and just starting to talk and like with no context. But like that's really what a vlog is. You think about it. Deep. 
Like if I just walked up to a stranger and I was like, oh my gosh, you guys, or two strangers, and I was like, oh my gosh, you guys, I just looked at this apartment, I think I'm gonna go with it. They would be like, is she okay? You guys don't. Well, you probably do think that. All right. <laughs> Let's try this because it really seems like I'm lacking in energy. What is this funch? Funch? What did I just mix? Flavor and sour heads. It's not even a flavor. That sounds like a band. Oh, oh. oh my god, do you know what this smells like? I'm forever cursed and blessed with a really, really good sense of smell in the sense that well, first of all, I can smell things from like super far away, but like I can immediately draw a connection to like what something smells like. And often it's like from childhood and that's why I'm always so impressed with myself. I'm like, oh my gosh, this smells like that one Bonnie Bell lip balm that we used in like 1998. It was discontinued and then they'll smell it and they'll be like, how did you like make that connection? You guys remember that sour spray? Like it was literally, that's all it was. I don't know why it was appealing. I don't know why it was so good, but it was like a candy, but it wasn't a candy. It was just like in like a banaca container. Does, is banaca still a thing? I feel really like old saying that for some reason. In like a little squirt bottle and it was just sour spray that you squirt in your mouth. I used to love that shit. Like my sister would get the blue one all the time and she would just like sit in the car and squirt it in her mouth and be like, give me some. And she'd be like, no, there's not very much left. And then she would like squirt a bunch in her mouth and her tongue would always be blue and I'd be like, just give me one squirt. I, I just full on spilt this. Why didn't you tell me I was spilling? It smells like sour spray. So, you know, sour head. It tastes like watermelon. This is liquid sour patch watermelon. I don't know, but I need to go because I want to get back to my area before traffic is too bad so I can get work done. Yeah. Look, I'm wearing a butterfly clip. Am I just so 90s today? Like, the 90s called. The phone was corded. That should be a new saying. Like, instead of being like, oh my god, mom, you're so old fashioned, or like, what are you, 62? That was such a dad joke. We should just start being like, do you have a spirally cord coming out of your butt? Cause you're like an old ass telephone. Does your phone have a cord on? Okay, I don't know. Hello, my children. Just kidding, you're not my children. It's kind of sad really because I feel like most YouTubers, they're like subscribers, they're fans, they're like whatever their fandom, whatever like their subscribers are called, they'll always be like, oh my god, mom, or like dad, or like whatever. It's like, oh my gosh, you're my mom. But like, I feel like I don't have that because my subscribers, I feel like a lot of you are older than me and it would be so weird if you were to like call me daughter, but also like if you're younger than me and you watch me, please call me mom. I just want a child, okay? Is that too much to ask? Anyway, hello friends. Also, should we have like a name? I feel like that's so, I mean, I guess like every YouTuber really has it. And I mean, I call my patrons binchos, but that's like different because I don't really call them that that often. You just have to name the tiers. So like, hello, but you know, I feel like it's weird. I feel like it's very Charles Manson-esque because he called his like followers, he called them the family. And I feel like if you have a name for your subscriber base, it automatically just makes me think, oh, this is a cult. So today I just was at my psych. I had an appointment with my psych. I see her like every three months just to like, you know, we changed my meds. I've been like going down on one of my meds. Yeah, just check in and stuff. I gotta get some blood work done, but I'm not gonna do that today. So I have so much to do today. To return this laptop, well, I have to wipe it first. Pick up my laptop that was fixed. Pay for that, which is great. Um, I have to return something else. I have a lot of work to do. Once I get my laptop back, I can upload two videos that are already done. It's so exciting. I was like, damn, what am I gonna film today? Cause like, you know, I've been uploading a lot lately. And like, yeah, I'm vlogging right now, but I wanted to like film something, you know, something of substance. Not really, but you get what I mean, focused. But then I was like, oh my God, when I get my laptop back, I already have two videos done for me. It's like when drunk you like buys an extra burrito or no, <laughs> when sober you buys like two burritos it's because that night drunk you is gonna come home and be like, oh my God, I can't believe like I did this for myself, you know? like that but like not really because I spent like hours and days editing those oh actually yeah I probably shouldn't get too excited yet because what if they're gone like I'm actually probably pretty certain they're probably gonna be gone oh my god less sad whenever I go to my psych I like to go to 
this Target because I always go to the Manhattan Beach Target or the Redondo Beach Target, but my psych is in Torrance, I believe. There's a Target here and it's also a really good Target, but you know, I just never go there. And it's right by my psych office, so I like to always have that be like my treat after I go to see my psych. It's like when you go to the doctor when you're little and then your mom takes you to get a freaking milkshake or when you poop in the toilet for the first time and then your mom takes you to get a Barbie, but you choose a Ken doll because hello, we start young kids. Do you wanna know a funny story? I was seeing my psych and after we were done, I was like paying her and everything and I pay her, but then I get a super bill. Well, my mom, I'll have her send my mom a super bill and my mom will just give it to insurance because I don't I don't wanna do that. She had, There's just an email on file and it's my mom's email. <laughs> And normally her assistant will do billing for me, so she's never done it before, my psych. By the way, I love my psych, she's the best. She's like young and hot. Anyway, so she was like, okay, I'm gonna double check the email that we have on file so I can send you the super bill. So she goes, okay, the email that I have on file is B, B J Mishler? And I'm like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> I'm like, yes, it's my mom's email. It's Brian Jennifer Mishler. And she like screamed. She like started cackling. She was like, oh my God, I thought that was just your email and you just had BJ Mishler at blah, blah, blah dot com as your email. No, okay, it's my mom and dad's like shared email. <laughs> she made it when I was probably like 12 years old and I still knew like that's not a good idea, but I couldn't say anything because I was 12. But every time I have to tell someone that email, like usually it's for insurance stuff or like it used to happen a lot when I was younger. I'd have to be like, B, J, Mishler. And I mean, obviously now my mom knows. I think she probably found out pretty quickly after she made it, like you shouldn't have done that. So she'll always go B as in Brian, J as in Jennifer, Mishler. <laughs> but yeah, my psych was like, okay, like, you know, I know you're a little freaky. I thought that maybe that was just your email. It's my mom's, it's fine. It's my 50 something year old mother's email, just B, J, Mishler. It was really funny though. She was like scream laughing. And then I, I texted my mom and I was like, she just died laughing because she confirmed her email with me. And I was like, I know, I hate telling people that email. My mom was like, I know, Brian and Jennifer. I had to come up with a new email years ago and that's the first thing I thought of. I'm not a dirty girl. <laughs> okay, mom, I didn't say you were. I know you're just dumb. <laughs> my eyes still hurt and they're like still super tired from literally like I drank two nights ago and I was hung over yesterday and tired and exhausted and felt like shit. Also, as we speak, as I speak anyway, Today is Monday, so it's the day that they're supposed to come and unclog my tug. <laughs> Wait, what? Unclog my tub. Clug. Oh my god, I'm sweating. Ugh, it's so hot. All right, guys, it is so much later than when I last talked to you. I've been freaking running around all day. I just got back to my car after picking up my laptop. Oh my god, I'm I just returned the loner laptop, which felt good for about two minutes while I had that money back in my account. And then I had to pick up my laptop, which I had to pay for the repairs for again. It's the moment of truth. We're about to find out if my shit is still on this laptop. And by shit, I mean the two Final Cut videos that I had edited. Oh, that's a clean screen. Like, look at that. I mean, oh. I learned my lesson last time. I have been backing up all of my shit to this here external hard drive, okay? Every night, sometimes I forget, and so every other night or whatever. July 7th. July 7th at like 12 a.m., okay? I had just finished editing and I hadn't backed it up yet, okay? Moment of truth. She's turning on. Welcome to Mac OS. Oh my God. Voiceover. Oh, Final Cut is even still open, holy shit. <gasps> Last time I got my laptop back, a lot of it I still had, but a lot of it I didn't have. This time, it literally, like, Final Cut is still open from when I was working on it a week and a day ago. I don't want to talk about this anymore. I don't want to think about this anymore. I just want to move on with my life. Why are there a thousand crows screaming right now? <laughs> what is going on? Interesting. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. These crows ain't loyal. Look at this. Oh, there were two crows on that car and then they flew off. You guys, I'm so fucking sweaty. I feel like I'm always sweating when I turn on my camera in my car and my air is blasting. Bitch, if I thought I was hot where I currently live, near the beach, oh, the valley, the valley. Holy shit. I'm in North Hollywood. It's technically North Hollywood. I consider it more Studio City, but whatever. I just looked at my first apartment of the day. I'm seeing three today. I had this appointment at two and I was waiting until like 2.30 in the front because someone let me in. I finally was like, okay, I need to like, 
I emailed them, I texted them, no one was saying anything, so I had to like look up the number for like the management company, and then they had to like call the manager and tell him, and he was like, I came down here at 2 and you weren't here, so I went back upstairs, and I was like, I got here at like... 150 <laughs> like no you didn't i mean i didn't fucking say that i was like oh sorry but anyway i really like this place it's the is it the most expensive one that i'm seeing today not by much they're all pretty much around the same price within like a hundred dollars so the first one that i just saw it was like i had to make an appointment oh do you see that also i'm so matchy today like look at my shoe man I haven't worn these in the longest time. I've worn these like a total of three times. And I just remembered why, because ugh, they're so squeaky. They squeak when I walk. I'll have to show you guys. But I was like walking down this long ass hallway to get to the room with this man who was kind of like snarky. And it was just like my shoes squeaking. And I was like trying to make conversation with him. I'm like, how's your day going? And then I'm like, oh, like, is this building blah, 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 blah. Is there pets? Is there parking? And he was just so like short with me. And it was just like my shoes squeaking the whole time. The next two that I'm going to go to, I don't have like an appointment, well I do have like an appointment time, but they gave me like the gate code and then like the lockbox code to get into the unit and I can just view it myself. Like it's nice because you're by yourself and you can take your time and stuff, but also like sometimes I want to ask someone questions, you know. It's cool because I can take you guys with me, I'm assuming, unless there's going to be other people in there too, which I kind of doubt. I feel like there's not going to be people in there all day. Okay, so not going to lie. I know this place hasn't been like cleaned or I think they're still remodeling it, but there's just something about like viewing it while it's all dirty and dingy that it's like, I don't know. Like the layout is similar to a lot of apartments that I've looked at, but like, how do I know if it's gonna look good when it's done, you know? Really big window. Didn't realize I left the freaking door open, but yeah. I mean, here's the thing. This place, since it has a lockbox and a code and everything, people are coming in and out of here, but I don't even think that's what has made it dirty. I, I mean, literally, look at there's an octopus behind me. Like, whoever moved out, like, just moved out. They haven't even replaced the carpets. Look at that. Also, there is carpet. The last one was all hardwood. I like the last one more, for sure. And honestly, this one is, like, in a very nice area. This is in Tuluka Lake which is a nice area. I mean, the other one was a nice area too. It's so close. I'm just trying to imagine. Can I imagine this place all clean and with fresh painting, fresh carpets? I mean, yeah, I'm sure it'll look great. But also the last place, while more expensive, it's really not even that much more expensive. I love how there's just a sideways octopus painting that they kind of want to take it. Should I take this painting? It's really rad. I'm gonna take it, because they're gonna throw it away anyway. Wait, do I need this? Yeah, I do. Watch, I end up moving here. Well, no, because they would have thrown it away. All right, well, let's go to the next place. I am sweating. Oh my God, you guys, so awkward. Ugh. I just ran into my ex. He's right across the street right now. Oh my God. So awkward. Okay, but also what's more awkward about that is I didn't realize the garbage man is in his truck and he probably was just like, why? I look like a fucking paparazzo right now too, like with my fucking hat. Ugh. Oh my God, you guys. I just stood in the sun for so long. I went to this place. I did the code to get into the gate. I did the code to get into the lockbox. I got the key. The key didn't fucking work in that door. I literally immediately had flashbacks to so when Courtney and I got an Airbnb and they gave us the wrong fucking key. Anyway, I couldn't fucking get in. I was like, are you kidding me? And like where I was standing to try and open the door, just blazing hot. It's like 102 here. Honestly, I'm gonna maybe take that as a sign. I called the property management company and I told the guy and he was like, that's really weird. My guess is that someone took the key and like switched it out. And he's like, the manager's not there anymore. I'll call the maintenance. Worst case scenario, you come back tomorrow. Are you free tomorrow? And I'm like, bitch i want it i don't want to drive back out here tomorrow okay it's like a whole day thing but hey i got two out of three today i like want to take it as a sign that it wasn't supposed to be I'm so, look, can you literally see the sweat on my face i look like i just went swimming but like there's an occasional breeze and i have my door open so like i can't think because i'm so hot like honestly wearing a hat felt like it was the move because like i didn't want to use dry shampoo but like oh my god hats make you so much more sweaty like i don't even oh are you <laughs> that is not okay that is not okay we're not taking that off okay 